Well, you've heard his name before. William Cogswell is a former state representative for Charleston who decided not to run for re-election and put his focus on the Charleston mayoral race. We welcome him now. Good to have you with us. Um, you're born and raised in Charleston, and you've definitely seen things change over the years quite drastically. Sure. Um, let's start with the negative, if we could. Uh, where has Charleston gone wrong, in your view? Well, I think it's uh, the public sector has really not kept up with the private sector. You see it all over the city where we don't have the infrastructure to support um, the growth that's occurring. And that's a huge uh, failing in terms of our local government. Mm -hmm. And if you were to be elected mayor, where would you make your first changes as far as that path moving forward? Well, on a couple of fronts. One, I think we need to coordinate a lot more with Charleston County, with Berkeley County, with the state delegation and with the federal delegation if we're going to actually solve some of these growing problems that we have, particularly when it comes to funding because the city's budget is not going to cover uh, the growing needs that we have. Okay, so how would you increase the budget? Well, again, you have to, it, it, these are regional issues. These are not just city issues. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to work and collaborate more with the county, with the state, and with the federal delegations um, on the plan and how we're going to pay for it. Yeah, you know, a lot of people say that if you are not growing, you're shrinking. Right. Um, however, that has been a bone of contention for a lot of people. Sure. A lot of people who are new to Charleston as well as those who have been generations here. Sure. So. In terms of development, now you yourself are a real estate developer. In fact, you're credited with uh, re reinvigorating the cigar factory and also figuring out, out what to do with the naval yard. Um, but where, where are we having problems and where do we then start to stem the flow of constant development on the peninsula and elsewhere? Sure. I mean, it's not just a peninsula issue. Yeah. Um, it's, it's all over the city and the region. Um, and when it comes to good and bad development, it's something that's kind of hard to describe, but you know it when you see it. You know good development when you see it, and you know bad development when you see it. And as I've said uh, time and time again, what we're seeing too much of is bad development. And in the city of Charleston, there's actually a lot of controls that can protect the city from bad development from occurring. Uh, that unfortunately has not happened over the past five to 10 years, and it's something that I would hope to uh, alleviate remedy. Can you be specific as to what you find to be bad development? Sure. I think a lot of the apartments uh, that have been put up in recent years uh, are put up by companies that have little to no connection to the region or to Charleston. Uh, they come here because of how strong our macro economy is, which is understandable. But they develop things, um, they stabilize them, and then they sell. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're really not engaged in the community. They don't have a vested interest. and. Not that I'm against uh, any and all outside money from coming into the region. I think that's incredibly important, but it needs to be responsible. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a very special place, and the people that do business here need to respect that. Yeah. Where do you think Charleston has gone right, gone in the right direction? Well, uh, again, we have an incredibly diverse economy and yeah. a diverse region, um, and I think you see the success there because we're almost victims of our own success because you, you see more and more businesses, more and more companies, more and more jobs coming into the region, and of course, that brings more and more people, sure. right? Um, so it goes back to your point, if you're not growing, you're dying, um, but there's a right way to grow and a wrong way to grow, and unfortunately, I believe uh, we have been off track, and I'm happy to, uh, excited to kind of get the train back on the rails. Yeah, and now I recently sat down with the Charleston Metro Chamber of Commerce to talk about affordable housing. Mm -hmm. And affordable housing as it relates not to people who fall below a certain income level, but also for young professionals. I mean, I can sure. tell you from personal experience, moving to Charleston from the West Coast was quite a lateral move right. with not a salary to justify it. Sure. And so what would you recommend to be done in order to allow that viability for people to start their career here or sure. continue their career here and be able to live and enjoy uh, what Charleston is all about. It's a great point and uh, I go back to the, the issue that this is a, a really a regional issue as much as it is a citywide issue. Um, you have uh, the housing authority for the city of Charleston. You have city of Charleston has its own housing department within the general budget. The county has a housing authority. North Charleston has a housing. I mean, they're all competing for the same uh, funds yeah. and to me you need to have a more regional uh, approach to this and I think the Chamber of Commerce in particular has addressed that because 
You're right. I mean, it is across the spectrum in terms of uh, especially entry-level jobs and even folks that are kind of mid-level jobs. Um, and, and we have an incredible shortage of attainable housing in this region. And it needs to be aggressively addressed, and it can't be done in silos. Right. Uh, and you also need, again, going back to my point, you need to bring the state in on this, and uh, as possible, the federal government as well. Well, we'll uh, look forward to continuing this conversation. The election is happening Tuesday, November 7th, and I'm sure you're going to have some events leading up to that Absolutely. place. Absolutely. So we're going to direct everyone to your website. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank Enjoyed you. it. We're back after this.